And a landslide that threatens an historic site and comes and homes rather in San Clemente seems to be worsening a bit tonight. Dozens of people have been forced to evacuate. Our John Fanolio joins us live from San Clemente where he got a good look at all that damage. Hi, John. Corrine Rick, that's right. And new at six, we have new drone video captured this morning that shows the scope of the damage. More on that in just a moment, but you're right. The danger persists out here. The soil continues to shift. If you look over my shoulder, you can see that this historic building remains closed, as do several residential buildings and rail lines at the base of the cliff. Officials say it's just too soon to know when they can get a handle on this landslide. From this angle at the entrance to Casa Romantica, everything appears normal. But as you move toward the oceanfront terrace, you can see the damage is severe. You come back here, you see the amount of earth that has moved down the hillside. Your heart just absolutely drops. Overnight, the earth below the historic cultural center continued to slide. If you look at the hillside here, it's jarring because it's moved about 40 feet. This drone video recorded Saturday morning shows the scope of the landslide the building's terrace hanging over the edge of the crumbling cliffside, and further below, the rail tracks that are under threat from falling debris as the saturated soil continues to shift. The slide happened Thursday, forcing the immediate closure of Casa Romantica, which had to be red-tagged due to the danger of collapse. Four condo units in a nearby building were also red-tagged, and four condo units in another nearby building were yellow-tagged, meaning habitability is limited. The moving earth also stopped Metrolink and Amtrak rail service at the base of the slope. The mayor was joined by state and federal officials this morning to assess the damage. We're looking at a disaster here. Congressman Mike Levin says the economic impact of the landslide on the local economy could be devastating. So when the rail corridor is shut down, even for a week, a month, we're talking about tens or even hundreds of millions of dollars in regional economic impact. So I'm going to do everything I can to, to use whatever federal tools we've got in the toolkit to work with Supervisor Foley at the, the uh, county level, to work with our state legislators uh, in Sacramento, and of course to work with Mayor Duncan. And we're not going to stop until the job is done. Residents say they feel for their displaced neighbors and their cherished Casa Romantica. It's just so sad because they have ended up evacuating the people in the building across the street from us over here. It makes me feel so bad. I'm so sad. We love it here at Casa Romantica. We come all the time. We were just here for a field trip. Officials tell us they don't anticipate having to red tag or yellow tag any more homes. Geologists and engineers are on site. They continue to survey this cliffside, but right now they say they just don't know when it will be safe to reopen this building or the rail lines below. We're live in San Clemente. I'm John Finolio, sending it back to you guys in Hollywood. John, thanks so much for that report.